Research Organization for Agriculture and Food. Research Organization for Governance, Economy and Community Welfare. Bring catalyzing research and innovation to develop an advanced scientific ecosystem in Indonesia with two main targets. Green realizes the tremendous potential of the nation's youth in the field of science and technology. Thus, various research and innovation policies are being formulated to develop and cultivate human resources with high competence and aptitude in science and technology. Creating many excellent programs is a form of brings commitment to researchers, innovators, and the general population from various disciplines across the nation. The research and innovation ecosystem quality improvement in Indonesia is also realized through the collaboration of various ministries, institutions, domestic industries, and regional governments, to name a few, by forming the Regional Research and Innovation Agency, or RIDA. Moreover, cooperation with various foreign research institutions continue to be developed through active participation as member of various organizations and international forums. Green organizes research into a more effective and efficient process by integrating human resources, infrastructure, and budget from various research and development institutions. Oriented by a national research priority, Green routinely enacts comprehensive evaluations from various research and development institutions. This effort is supported through the continued management and improvement of various research and innovation facilities located across 17 regions of Indonesia, dedicated towards the development of science and technology. Green continues to improve our contribution to research and innovation towards national development by developing and revitalizing four areas of science and technology, or KST, an integrated area consisting of research laboratory facilities, testing laboratories, and industrial facilities, or both startups and SMEs, tenant office rooms, co-working space, meeting rooms, gallery rooms, and other supporting facilities. the future of a golden Indonesia 2045 by consolidating science and technology resources and creating a resource ecosystem and research-based economical foundation. Transforming Indonesia as a global reference in the development and application of science and technology, practices, and the good of humankind. Nature is the source of inspiration. Knowledge is the foundation. And to be put in praxis for the sake of the nation. Research is our strength to overcome any limitations. Innovation is the guiding vision that drives us towards the future. We cannot face this alone. We must stand together to make our vision a reality. Growing strong upon the land of Nusantara, a magical place filled with miracle and wonder. A land spanning two continents and two oceans, rich in culture and biodiversity. 
we and Indonesia are the necessary combination to realize the grand visions of the future. Like an orchestra, brain harmonizes research, development, assessment, application, and also synergies, invention and innovation in Indonesia. We created an ecosystem consisting of seven deputies, 12 research organizations, and 85 research centers dispersed throughout Indonesia. Research Organization for Aeronautics and Space, Research Organization for Nuclear Energy, Research Organization for Energy and Manufacture, Research Organization for Earth Sciences and Maritime, Research Organization for Life Sciences and Environment, Research Organization for Electronics and Informatics, Research Organization for Social Sciences and Humanities, Research Organization for Archaeology, Language and Literature, Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. May I have your attention? We will initiate the webinar. For the convenience during the webinar, please mute your communication device. Thank you. Bapak, Ibu hadirin sekalian, acara kami mulai. The Honorable, the Chairman of Research Organization for Agriculture and Food, the National Research and Innovation Agency, Ibu Pujil Lestari, PhD, Honorable Head of Research Center for Food Technology and Processing, Bapak Satrio Kridowahono, PhD, Head of Department of Food Technology, Faculty of Science, Chulalongkorn University, Ibu Kanita Tananuwong, PhD, Professor Department of Food Technology, Faculty of Science, Chulalongkorn University, Ibu Professor Ubon Ratsiri Patrawan, PhD, Associate Professor Department of Food Technology, Faculty of Science, Chulalongkorn University, Bapak Intawut Supa Forasatit, PhD. Researcher of Research Center for Food Technology and Processing, Bapak Siska Aditya, PhD, and all participants. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Muntadiroh, or Mumun. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome every one of you to the international webinar entitled Bridging Research on Food Science and Technology Among Indonesia, Thailand. Today, Monday, April 3rd, 2023. This webinar is an initiative collaboration event among the Center for Food Technology and Processing and Department of Food Technology, Faculty of Science, Chulalongkorn University, Thailand. In this occasion, we will bring up is to about tropical food product across the country, technology for preservation, packaging, handling, and also potential collaboration research on food technology in both countries. This webinar is conducted virtually and live from Zoom webinar room and official YouTube channel of Green Indonesia. Ladies and gentlemen, please be prepared for the first agenda, the national anthem, Indonesia Raya.
Ladies and gentlemen, we will start the international webinar with the warm welcome speech from the chairman of the research organization for agriculture and food and officially open the webinar. Please welcome Ibu Puji Lestari, PhD. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everyone. It is a glorious moment to extend my work visits on behalf of Research Organization for Agriculture and Food, BRIN. I would like to convey my heartfelt gratitude to the Director of Research Center for Food Technology and Processing, Satrio Krido Wahono, PhD, who organized this international webinar, Naji Tech Prof number 11 and also will deliver talk today and distinguished speakers from Chula Longkorn University, Thailand, Kanita Tanan Wong, PhD, Ubonrat Siri Patrawan, PhD, and Intawud Supapora Sat, PhD. My gratitude is also addressed to scientists from Brin and colleagues from Chula Longkorn University who are attending today's setting session with them of bridging research on food science and technology between Indonesia and Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, when the world population is steadily increasing, the capacity of Earth to renew its resources is continuously declining. Consequently, the bioresources required for food production are diminishing and new approaches are needed to feed the current and future global population. And as you know that food and agriculture is a key sector in Southeast Asian economy. Agriculture accounted for about 11% of ASEAN's gross domestic product in 2020 before the pandemic. Indonesia and Thailand, being as ASEAN countries, have diverse tropical food products across these countries. This commodity plays an important role in society's economic and social aspect. However, some food products have a relatively short shelf life and low quality. For those purposes, process innovation, preservation, packaging, and handling strategies are necessary to achieve optimal quality. Therefore, recent advances in the food science and technology area, particularly a research strategy on the tropical local food product, is necessary to increase its added value. Research Organization for Agriculture and Food, Green is highly concerned on research on food technology. International collaboration research to boost the achievement of goals on this research and innovation are being initiated by Brin and Chula Longkorn University, Thailand. For that reason, we are organizing a series setting session uh, which is organized by this research center for Food Process and Technology, ROAF, in April 2023, with the main theme is the potential collaboration research on food technology in both countries, Indonesia and Thailand, and other ASEAN countries. Ladies and gentlemen, so this today's webinar could be beneficial to share knowledge of research and development on food and technology sector. To discuss a brief concept note of the research project proposed by Research Organization for Agriculture and Food Brin, Indonesia, and Chula Longkorn University, Thailand, and to strengthen networking and initiate collaboration and cooperation research. So, I ensure this international webinar, 11th Ngaji Tech Prop, will be profitable and fruitful for everyone present here. Have a good day and hopefully this moment 
is not just end that we are starting to have future collaboration and to sustain our research and innovation on the good sides. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Ibu Puji Lestari, for the great speech. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's move to our main agenda. Let me inform you that today webinar we will have four speakers. So may I kindly invite our moderator, Bapak Siska Aditya, PhD. Let me introduce our moderator first. Pak Siska Aditya is a young researcher in the Research Center for Food Technology and Processing. National Research and Innovation Agency, who specialists in toxins, food security, one health, and veterinary public health. He graduated his doctoral degree from the University of Veterinary Medicine, Vienna, Austria. Finally, Pak Siska Aditya, time is yours. Okay, well, uh, thank you so much for the introduction, Ms. Mumun. So, then, uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the international webinar about the bridging research on the food technology and science between Indonesia and also the Thailand. So before I start uh, the, the, the webinar, so I would like to uh, say that the Honorable, uh, the chairman of the Organization for the Agriculture and the Food, uh, Brin, Dr. Lestari, and the second one is the, the Honorable, the, the head of the Department of the Food Technology uh, from the Faculty of Science, Chulalongkorn University, uh, Dr. Tana Nuwong, and also the Honorable, the head of the Research Center for the Food Processing and also Technology, Food Technology, Dr. Uh, Satrio Kido Wahono, and also all the speaker, the stakeholder, and also the colleague and the participant who attend this webinar. Well, uh, before I move to the next agenda, shortly I would like to, uh, to talk shortly regarding the, the, the webinar, because when we are talking about the food and agriculture, that is, they are the, the, the key for the living and also the economy. And also the Thailand and also Indonesia, we have the, the same background that we have. We are in the tropical climate zone, we are in the tropic. So it means that we have a diversity of the food. So it might be we have the, some of the issue that we should, uh, how can I say, uh, face it and also we should uh, tackle it. And therefore we conduct this webinar and also we hope also after the webinar that we could make the really long lasting collaboration between the Indonesia, especially Green and also Thailand, especially uh, from Tulalongkorn University. And uh, I'm Cisco that I will be the moderator for this agenda for about uh, one and a half hours. And uh, before we uh, start, I would like to uh, uh, inform the regulation of this webinar. So if you have any question regarding the topic that you are interested or you, you are curious regarding the topic, uh, you could put uh, on the Q&A box if, if you are joining uh, via Zoom. And also you could uh, also raise your hand if you want to talk directly to the speaker. And if you are joining uh, via YouTube, also you could uh, give the comment on the YouTube that we could deliver to the speaker. I think uh, I will start for the first uh, speaker. Uh, Dr. Tananuang, are you already here? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Sawadi, Dr. Tanan Wong. I hope my pronunciation is not wrong. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. Good so morning. before you before you start, that I would like to uh, uh, introduce uh, about the curriculum of the Dr. Tanan Wong. So briefly, so Dr. Tanan Wong is the head of department, as I mentioned before, uh, from the Department of the Food Technology Faculty of Science, Chulalongkorn University, Thailand. And uh, she uh, received the PhD degree from the University of California, Davis, the United States. And her research interests on the start technology utilization and utilization 
development of serial based functional food product and also the calorimetry analysis. Actually, there are a lot, but I skip. I, I put the three of them. And Dr. Tanan Wang uh, will deliver the speech regarding the introduction of the Department of the Food Technology. So, Dr. Tanan Wang, you have uh, about 20 minutes for a uh, talk. So, I give the time for you. Uh, the screen is yours, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I would like to share the presentation. Okay. So um, for an introduction part this morning, I would like to um, share the overview information about um, our department. Department of Food Technology, Faculty of Science, Jiangwan University. Actually, we are one of the 14 departments in Faculty of Science. For our department, we have 20 PhD lecturers and, I'm sorry, and 10 supporting staffs. In, in terms of students, um, of course, major students are the um, bachelor students, uh, the undergraduate students, about 300 students so far, and graduate students, including master and PhD students, we have about approximately 60 overall uh, graduate students. Um, in terms of curriculum, we offer four curriculums, um, the undergraduate degree, um, Bachelor of Science in two sub, um, Two subtopics: the um, specialist in food technology or biotechnology. For the master degree, we offer two program in Thai, um, which is specialized in food technology, and international program, uh, which is in the field of food science and technology. And lastly, for the PhD program, we offer only one, but it is bilingual program. So we have international PhD students in our program as well. In terms of the accreditation, um, we have several accredit accredited program start from Bachelor of Science, um, which has been accredited from IU Faust, and also um, for from Iseki Food Association in um, in terms of bachelor degree program as well. And for the um, master degree program, um, both of them in Thai and in um, English international program, both of them are have been accredited, accredited by Iseki Food Association since 2019. Additionally, for our master degree program, we have option um, in terms of double degree uh, program between Jolalokon University and University of Fermo, Italy. Um, this means that um, we have exchange students um, so far. For example, we have three um, students from University of Fermo, um, which they are doing um, their thesis with us. And we will send one of our students to uh, University of Thermal um, this summer to do the uh, research in, the, in his thesis as well. For the research area, in details, uh, Professor Ubonrat will provide more information, but right now I would like to provide some uh, overview in terms of the area. We have food processing and engineering, food chemistry and nutrition, food safety and microbiology, food packaging, and also product development offered by a um, group of our lecturers or researchers in our department. For the international collaboration, we have um, collabor we, we collaborated with, um, in terms of research studies and also exchange students, um, for, for example, for an internship um, between our department and many universities in Asia, 
in North America um, and also in European countries. Um, start from Asia, we have um, international collaboration, of course, with Green and also several university in Indonesia and also in Malaysia, in Singapore as well. And for the um, zone of the Japan um, and Korea, as well as China and Taiwan, um, we also have some collaboration in terms of um, research projects so, um, going on. Um, and also in, in the zone of Australasia, in Australia and New Zealand, um, with UNSW and Massey University. And also you can see um, from the um, North America so far, for example, we have one of our students, um, he is working in Cornell University uh, for his master um, thesis um, right now. And also from um, European countries um, in Netherlands, in of course Italy and also in France. So um, we, we can have um, additional collaboration um, in the near future. Um, of course, so far with, um, with the brain in terms of research and the probably exchange um, lecture and researcher. And for the um, national collaboration, there are many universities in Thailand that offer food science and technology program. And of course we have um, good collaboration with them. And also the um, organization um, called Food Science and Technology Association of Thailand. Um, and lastly, we have um, good connection and research collaboration with the food entrepreneur, um, with the food and related companies and industry. So um, I'd like to move to the um, research facilities. Uh, apart from our department in Bangkok, uh, we also have another, um, another unit called Food Research and Testing Lab, which is a part of Faculty of Science that they uh, accept the samples from um, our department and also from um, many food companies. Um, and this is the certified lab with the, um, um, with the ISO standard. And additional, facility, which is a pilot plant um, located in Saraburi province um, called Center of Excellence in Food Processing Pilot Plant that will offer um, the opportunities to for the um, research collaboration with food entrepreneur. And this can help us upscale the process or the production of the products that has been developed in the lab scale to to the pilot scale, which is um, part of feasibility of um, upscaling um, from the, um, from the um, small scales to the industrial scale. So um, for the center of excellence in food processing pilot plant, which is um, a part of faculty of science, Yulanukon University, um, they offered uh, many production line um, including thermal processing um, and also especially UHT um, pilot scale, um, which has been used um, quite frequent from um, beverage company in Thailand. And this unit offer product research and development um, for the food entrepreneur and also in terms of machine or equipment services. And lastly, training and consultation. So this is an example of the co collaboration with um, Thai food manufacturers that um, they sent their um, officers to learn a little bit more in, in terms of technical aspects um, in this workshop, um, which is the tailor-made courses. Um, we call them as the training courses on UHT processing for dairy products and also for other type of beverages as well. 
Lastly, um, so this is just a short introduction. So um, you will um, have some more information offered by other lecturer from us. Um, so I'd like to um, briefly end my talk with um, an introduction about our website, um, Food Technology Jilalongkorn University. And right now we also have Facebook to update some um, upcoming events and the um, current um, news from our department as well. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, thank you uh, so much for the nice uh, information and presentation, Dr. Tanan Wong. So probably some of the participants who already joined here uh, maybe have questions regarding the what kind of facility or, I mean, if some of you would like to study there, I mean, in the PhD program, and you could ask later on to uh, Dr. Tanan Wong also uh, via Zoom or via YouTube if you are joined in the different platform. Again, thank you so much for the uh, presentation, Dr. Tanan Wong. We will be back again together with you in the Q&A session. So now we are moving to the second speaker. Second speaker is uh, Professor Uponrat Siri Patrawan. Uh, are you already here? Okay, you are already here. Okay, before uh, you give the presentation that I would like to introduce uh, your curriculum uh, vitae briefly. Uh, Professor Ubanrat Siri Patran Patrawan is the, the senior lecturer uh, at the Department of the Food Technology Faculty of Science Tulalangkor University. And uh, uh, she got the PhD degree from Michigan State University in the United States. And her, her research uh, interests on the food packaging, cell life uh, simulation, and also near spectroscopy. Okay, uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Siri Patrawan uh, will give the, the, the lecture uh, about the research activity in the, in the Department of the Food Technology. So what's, what is going on in the department that uh, he will give the, the, the information. Okay, Professor Siri Patrawan, uh, you have uh, 15 minutes. So are you already here or, or I just missed something? <laughs> Professor Siri Patrawan, are you here already? But the presentation uh, could see here on the screen. Uh, you are still in the unmute. Okay, you are already here. Okay. Do you, yeah, do you listen to my voice? Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, Professor Siri Patrawan, you have uh, 15 minutes. Now the screen is yours, please. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for your introduction and Swadika, everybody. Uh, the next 15 minutes, I'm going to introduce to you about the research in our Department of Food Technology. Uh, we are in Tulalongkorn University, and uh, um, Tulalongkorn University is the research university that teaches, and therefore, uh, we concentrate on any on the research, like uh, the policy of the university is that education to research and innovation. And at the same time, uh, our policy would be research and innovation to education. And our university have uh, categorized main research into uh, four clusters like food and health, energy, environment, and sustainability, and also fundamental and new frontier research. Since we are Department of Food Technology, we focus on food and health, but actually we are uh, hybrid. We are in hybrid research with other clusters also like um, sustainability and new frontier research and also uh, on the energy. And as Dr. Kanita already mentioned earlier, our department has uh, five main research area like food processing and engineering, 
food chemistry and nutrition, food safety and microbiology, food packaging, and also food product development and innovative ingredients. And for the highlight research, this is for recently only, but actually in our department, there are many um, interesting research, but due to time limit, uh, we will introduce only three uh, highlight research for today. First is the uh, development of starter culture. Uh, this research is uh, investigated by Dr. Shun Jit, Dr. San, and also other members in the department, and also for the research partner outside university. The research, uh, in this research, the new starter culture uh, has been developed, and it's proved that the starter culture can accelerate the fermentation process, and at the same time can inhibit growth of pathogens during the fermentation. And this research is um, in the watch of commercialization. The next highlight research is the product development of healthy food products and would be uh, investigated by Dr. Sasikan, Dr. Kanita, Dr. Kitipong, and also other members. And this research topic concerns uh, healthy edible fat and oil, low sugar beverages, uh, and also sugar-free protein drink, fortified with rice bran extract. And the next one would be about edible film from biopolymer. Uh, in our department, we developed uh, biodegradable and edible films from various uh, natural resources like uh, polysaccharide and protein. And some other film can also do some function like active uh, packaging and also uh, intelligent packaging. And next, I will just uh, introduce research of uh, individual faculty of our department. And again, since we have only uh, 15, I have, we have time limits, so I will, I random uh, the researcher and their research for uh, today. First, I like to uh, show you about Dr. Kanita. She's the head of the department and her research concern starch chemistry and technology and focusing on starch derived dietary fibers and also nutraceutical and functional foods from cereal and starch, starchy crops and grass transition and shelf life of food. And she has uh, many collaborations, both in Thailand and in foreign country. And in the picture show her uh, develop uh, innovation product that's uh, in commercialization. Next is Dr. Shin Chi. Her, she specializes in food microbiology and biotechnology. And her research concerns uh, microbial strains development for food production, food safety and regulation. And Dr. Shinjit and her, her team has developed uh, this starter culture that can accelerate the fermentation process. And her research also in the work of uh, commercialization and she has gained uh, many awards from many leading institutes. And next researcher is Dr. Chiralat. She specializes in food engineering and food processing. And her research concerns novel techniques for food processing and preservation. And also any, any uh, research related with, related with food biology and also uh, flour and starch processing. Next is, uh, is me, 
Uh, my research concerns food packaging and shelf life, and I concentrate on active packaging and alternative method for preserving food quality, and like the film that can delay the ripening process of fresh produce. And I also work with the rapid method for food quality evaluation. Next is uh, Dr. Chalida. Uh, her research concern like advanced drying technology, micro encapsulation to create food functions, functional ingredient, food process and product development. And she also worked on like functional film and packaging development. And she also is a specialist in contact recruitment and research. And she has many collaboration both in Thailand and in the foreign countries. Next is Dr. Sasikan. Uh, her research concerns fat and oil technology, food processing technology, both for thermal and non-thermal processes, and also intelligent system for food process. And in the slide show her uh, develop product like deep fat frying blended vegetable oil and um, also rice brand wax and polycarsinol, polycarsinol. Next researcher is Dr. Intawood. He also is here today and his research concern like flavor protein interactions flavor stability affected by food processing, food product development, especially for uh, meat products. He also worked on plant-based protein product. Anything that related with uh, flavor science and technology uh, would go to uh, Dr. Intawood Research. Next researcher is Dr. Kitpong. His, his research concern like beverage technology, especially for non-thermal processing, like UV radiation, and also bio bioactive compound from plant materials and applications in food products. He also worked with like extraction technique for bioactive compounds and encapsulation and food safety and food micro microbiology. Next is Dr. Ketisak. Uh, his research concerns functional ingredients, food proteins, dry fruit and vegetables, and health promoting bioactivity. And next is Dr. San. Uh, he's specialized in metabolomics. And his research uh, concern like uh, metabolomics for like cow milk. He, he has developed uh, many milk products. And um, okay. next researcher is Dr. Panita. Uh, her research concern fruit and vegetable processing post harvest technology, molecular sensory science, and the characterization of volatiles in indigenous food and vegetable, and also with, uh, with herbs. And next is Dr. Sarisa. Her research concern like food microbiology and nanocolloids. Uh, emulsifier modification and encapsulation application. And uh, she also works on food safety, antimicrobial technology, biotechnology, and for uh, yeast and lactic acid bacteria utilization. And next is the youngest faculty in our department, Dr. Nontasha. Uh, his current research concerns meat and fishery products, 
alternative protein sources. And he has collaboration with the Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology in Japan. And the picture shows his research uh, product. And for the partnerships of our department, uh, on this slide show uh, the partnerships inside university, like uh, we have partner with um, food research and testing laboratory, faculty of veterinary, veterinary science, faculty of engineering, omic science, and bioinformatics center, and Harao science, Center and Center of Excellence in Food Processing Pilot Plant, Faculty of Pharmaceutical Science, Health Science, and also School of Agricultural Resources. And for the partnership in Thailand, Dr. Kanita already showed, showed to you earlier. And for the uh, international collaborations, we also have. Uh, many collaborations all around the world. And um, all year round, we are, we are visited by uh, scientists and researchers from a foreign country. This is an example, right? Recently, uh, we, we were visited by uh, Dr. Reader from Polytechnic uh, University in France, and Professor Lee from Yonsei University, Korea. And most recently, Dr. Professor Liu from China Agricultural University. And all year round, uh, our department provide um, special lectures from our collaborations, uh, both on-site and online. For example, from Dr. Mishla, Purdue University, and Professor Iwamoto from Gifu University, Japan, Professor Lee from Yongsei University, Korea, and again, Professor Mishla uh, from Purdue University. And um, we also have supporting institute and laboratory like uh, food research and testing laboratory, food processing pilot plant. And this is already mentioned, uh, uh, Dr. Kanita already mentioned about this, uh, this center here. They, that they also provide a training program for uh, for students and also for uh, people outside university from the company, something like that. And uh, our department also have supporting, uh, have support service workshop from various uh, organization and institute, both in, uh, in the university and outside university. And I will, before uh, in the presentation, I would like to mention about the mission of food cluster in our department. We aim to foster and enable comprehensive high-end research throughout the entire food value chain, including food pro production, innovative food product and processing, packaging, marketing and consumer research, food waste and food quality and safety, and all of which are multidisciplinary in nature co uh, covering from fundamental to applied science. And the vision of our department food research is to establish research excellency especially in the areas of food safety and quality, innovative food product and smart packaging. And the ultimate goal of our department is to push the innovations to food industry. And okay, thank you very much 
for your attention. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for the nice and also the detailed presentation from Professor Siri Patrawan. So probably there will be some question uh, from uh, our participant regarding the, because you show a lot of topics uh, regarding uh, what you have been doing at this moment uh, in your department. Okay, uh, yeah. Professor Siri Patrawan, we will, uh, we will uh, meet again in the Q&A session. So then I would like to go to the third speaker. So the third speaker is uh, Dr. Satrio Krido Wahono. Oh, okay, before uh, Dr. Wahono uh, present the presentation, I would like to brief, I would like to introduce briefly the, the curriculum vitae of uh, Dr. Wahono. Okay, Dr. Wahono is the senior researcher and also the head of the Research Center for Food Processing and also Food Technology, Green. And also he is my boss. <laughs> okay, and uh, he conducted the PhD degree uh, uh, at the University of South Australia and his research interest on the plasma charging, food processing and the food preservative. So Dr. Mahono will deliver the presentation about the research program and the facility in the food science and, and technology brain in our facility. Okay, uh, Dr. Wahono, you have a time, about 70 minutes. Uh, the screen is yours now. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Sisko. Sisko or Siska. <laughs> uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, Sawadikap. I hope my pronunciation is good. Good enough. <laughs> uh, this time, I will try to present, to present about the uh, program and facilities in Research Center for Food Technology and Processing, uh, which is uh, in some facilities, some facilities already used for uh, collaboration between, between Green and Chulalongkorn University. I think next presenter will, will, uh, uh, will deliver the story in detail about that collaboration. Uh, this is our um office our main laboratory main main office of uh, our research center uh, my research center research center for food technology and processing it's about 32 kilometers from Yogyakarta, one of the um capital of province uh one of the province in uh central of java so if you going to our um, our facilities, our uh, office, our laboratory. Uh, you can fly to Yogyakarta and then uh, go to our facilities about two or three hour, three hours uh, for travel. Okay, we start from here. Um, Indonesia, as we know that we Indonesia has uh, so many biodiversity, many food resources uh, from Sabang to Merauke, from many islands. We have many species as uh, carbohydrate right, resources, we have many species in fruit, many species for protein resources, uh, vegetable, nuts, herbs and spices, and also some of them also can use as a beverage ingredient. And as we know also, we uh, Indonesia not only consists of a mainland, but also we consist, uh, our area consists of uh, ocean. So we have many resources also come from a marine resource. From that, the potential, that, uh, that condition, Indonesia uh, struck um, making a brain and under the brain there is 12 research organization as mentioned in the uh, previous video video profile and also there is a 85 research center uh, research center for food technology and processing under research organization for agriculture and food so all of uh, technology, all of uh, food processing, uh, 
research has been conduct has conduct in here in our in this research center. That's why uh, research center for food technology and processing uh, was formed at last year, 2022. So it's a new research center uh, with scope. You can see in the presentation, we have a uh, food ingredient, a basic process of food, advanced process, uh, preservation process also, and uh, food program. It means uh, collaborate with uh, other other field of study, field of research, to uh, provide uh, food security uh, for Indonesia. Um, we have um, many kind of expertise, not only related about uh, food in uh, in common, but we also try to develop food in advance. So there is uh, some expertise in this research centers, uh, not related directly to food, but uh, some of them uh, work in the processing, which uh, using for food. Um, for research program uh, in agriculture and food research organization, uh, there is uh, there are four research program. There are four a program for uh, agriculture and food, and particularly for research center uh, for technology and food processing, uh, we focus in the second one, uh, particularly for food diversification and how to reduct, reduct, uh, reduce import uh, by substitute of some uh, strategic food, uh, some uh, particular food with a uh, local ingredient. So we can increase the competitiveness and uh, added value of our local uh, product, our agricultural local product, or maybe some uh, food, uh, local uh, food resource from the local one. Um, in the next uh, three years, uh, when when it started, when the this research center started at twenty. 2022 until 2024, uh, our strategic program, our, our short-term program for uh, for Indonesia, for our country, uh, consists of three kind of program. First one is food security revitalization, particularly for uh, tackling uh, stunting issues, uh, to overcome stunting issues. Uh, it's, this consists of uh, food fortification and bio fortification. Uh, explore uh, local food material, which reads some uh, important mineral, uh, iron, zinc, calcium, and also rich with protein. Uh, then div divers the food and beverage product based on the, that local material. So it can use for uh, stunting and support uh, to overcome the stunting. And the second one is how to process food uh, to make it at, or to preserve it more than six months. So some technology we develop uh, about the commercial sterile packaging, uh, preservation with new technology, such as uh, using irradiation, uh, plasma, as, as uh, one of uh, the field that I do now and fermentation and also others uh, food packaging uh, or other food preservation technologies. And also we work with edible, active, smart and degradable packaging. Uh, I think it's, uh, we have a potential to collaborate with, with Chula Longhorn because I hear that Professor Ubonrat also work in that field, uh, smart packaging. And the third one is about halal research and innovation, uh, how to find uh, or, or how to develop fast and easy halal detection, how to substitute, to substitute a product uh, for halal assurance, and also reduce the uh, uh, import, import uh, food product which, uh, from 
uh, so we can produce in the domestic in 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 Indonesia itself. And then how to explore marine resources for food uh, because all of marine resource is halal and Indonesia consists of more than 60 percent uh, 60 60 or 70 percent uh, area is a marine for the long-term uh, future topic uh, yeah, our research center will work in nutrient and energy dense food high nutrient food maritime food product exploration as I mentioned before because Indonesia is an island uh, island country with so fast uh, marine resources so many marine resources nutraceutical product food additive food biotechnology food process fruit preservation technology more than six months uh, advanced food processing technology and food packaging innovation and also fast and easy food detection uh, some of them become uh, our target in the 2022 until 2024 but more others uh, mostly uh, is our long-term target so i think with this uh rnd future topic uh, we can collaborate more with uh, chulalongkorn university uh, sorry, uh, Dr. Wahana, for disturbing your presentation. Because I have a uh, sorry. Fasilitas riset pangan. I have pusat riset teknologi dan proses pangan, badan riset dan inovasi nasional sebagai laboratorium rujukan riset halal Indonesia. Saya nyatakan diresmikan. This is our research facility inauguration at 22 April 2022, last year by Vice President of Indonesia. Okay, uh, Dr. Cisco. What happened? Sorry. Uh, for disturbing uh, your presentation, because I have information that uh, uh, Dr. Tananuang is on duty. Uh, she would like to leave the, the meeting. Uh, Dr. Okay. Tana, Dr. Tananuang, are you still here? or? I will stop there first. Yes, yes. But okay. <laughs> Maybe you I, will I give the, the short speech, uh, probably. Or are you still here? Okay, you are still here. Okay, please. Yeah, but but I I may need to leave within five minutes. I'm sorry about yeah, that. No problem. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> maybe there is some close statement, maybe, Dr. Yeah. Anita? One or two sentences. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you very much for letting me join in the um, um, the decision today. Um, it's my pleasure to have an opportunity to share um, information about our department. And um, I hope that we will have um, the research collaboration and also um, some exchange. And probably um, there's um, the quick question about degree by research um, in the future as well. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you again, uh, Dr. Tanan Wong, uh, for uh, joining us today. So, I mean, maybe if uh, participants have a question regarding the topic, maybe you, uh, they could send email directly to you, I mean, regarding the topic, if some of uh, the participants would like to study in Tulalongkorn University. Again, thank you so much uh, for the presentation, Dr. Tanan Wong. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Okay, then uh, I return back again uh, to uh, Dr. Wahana. Okay, Dr. Wahana, you could uh, continue your presentation. Sorry for disturbing. Okay, that's okay. I continue my presentation. Okay, right. Yeah, I already uh, tell about 
program and facilities uh, to support that program and to utilize that facilities. We have in total this year is 145 researchers and about 20% uh, is already in doctoral. So I think uh, collaboration is uh, possible to conduct between these two university. And it consists of 14 research group. Uh, you can see in here, there is a, about nutraceutical, about carbohydrate, about protein engineering. I think Professor Upanrat already mentioned about the protein and carbohydrate and starch, uh, animal product processing. Uh, Dr. Andy in here, uh, also uh, there is a marine food technology and processing, beverage processing, uh, functional food, food microbes, microbiology, microbial biotechnology, and then food packaging technology, food materials, uh, advanced technology and food processing, food safety, and halal. So all of this uh, research group are ready to collaborate with uh, University of Chulalongkorn, I think. And also we support uh, some program from Green, uh, from the headquarters program about uh, how we conducted research internship, research assistant, degree by research, also visiting research, visiting professor and research collaboration. So all of this activity will be hosted by uh, each research group which related with the, the top research topic uh, which proposed by the uh, the candidate I think and you can see in here some uh, our product uh, which already using in the market some some of the most uh, still in prototype but it still develop in further. Um, I think for this slide, I just want to mention that our collaboration already conduct last year. Maybe after that, pro after this, Professor Intawood, Professor Kang will uh, present in detail what we collaborate last year. It's collaboration between Green Chulalongkorn University and Gajah Mada University. Gajah Mada University uh, uh, share some facilities uh, so it can use by one of Indonesian student and here Ulil Afida has uh, her thesis defense, her thesis project and I think it's already finished at the end of the two, 2022. So it's Proof that we are ready to collaborate. Our facilities, green facilities, open to use for mobility research uh, to uh, conduct collaboration with uh, university, with industries also. Also, if uh, some uh, people not not from academic from academic want to use green facilities, we, we will also uh, give help and facilitation. Then uh, we also has a webinar series and thank you for Chulalongkorn University for uh, the time to share uh, the experience of our collaboration as the first uh, our webinar series in 2023. Uh, it's called Ngaji Tech, then transformed to Ngaji Tech Prop at, 20, uh, at last year. Ngaji Tech Prop means Ngaji Technology and Process uh, then Process Pangan. In English, it's mean uh, technology and uh, food technology and processing review, uh, something like that. And the first one, thank you for uh, Chulalongkorn University for the sharing. 
I think it will open the collaboration uh, in further, not only about meat, not only with Professor Kang, but it can happen with another uh, uh, human resource, another researcher in Chulalongkorn University, which collaborate with our uh, research group in here. I think that's all my presentation. Matunun, thank you. Pakun, I don't know what is the 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 proper one for thank you in in Thailand. Uh, but I wish uh, this collaboration not only conducted until this sharing session, but we will uh, more uh actual activity research not uh, between Chulalongkorn and us also activity in academic purpose maybe some degree by research student can use uh, our facility in sharing thank you PRTPP Brin technology for food food for future thank you very much thank you, well, uh... thank you. Thank you so much for the presentation, Dr. Wahab, for the detailed presentation about the PRTPP or the Research Center for Food Processing and Technology. Okay, well, uh, we will meet again after or in the Q&A session later on. So we are moving to the, the last, the last speaker. So uh, the last speaker is uh, Dr. Intavud Supaporasati. I hope my pronunciation is uh, right. <laughs> well, uh, before uh, you uh, deliver the, the presentation, I would like to uh, introduce a brief regarding your curriculum vitae. So Dr. Supa Forasatit is uh, one of the teaching staff in the Department of the Food Technology University. And he holds the PhD degree from the University of Illinois, the United States and in the human nutrition and also food science. And uh, his research uh, interest on the flavor chemistry, food uh, product, and also the food processing. Okay, Dr. Uh, Supaho Rasatit, you have a time about uh, 15 minutes. And you will talk, uh, he will de deliver a topic about uh, reaching research and education in the food technology and processing. And you have time about 15 minutes. Uh, okay, I will give it to you. Now the screen is yours, doctor. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Cisco. So <laughs> um, it's my pleasure to uh, present uh, our like experience for collaboration with uh, some university and also uh, the research facility in Brin. So um, can, can you see the slides? Yes, clear. Okay. So uh, today I will talk about uh, Indonesia, Thailand, bridging research and education in food science and technology. And uh, this is just like in brief, uh, like uh, experiences that we have uh, during uh, like COVID pandemic that we have a collaboration with uh, Indonesia uh, consists of BRIN and also uh, UGM, uh, the Gajamada University and also uh, Thailand, which is uh, Department of Food Technology, Tulalongkorn University. Uh, before going further, I would like to introduce uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Intawut Sapawarasatit, and I am academic staff in Department of Food Technology, Faculty of Science, Chulalongkorn University. And I serve as a speaker for many events, uh, including for the Flavor Academy, which is like the, a group of researchers that working together in flavor field. So we work for the Food Inopolis, which is the organization under National Science and Technology Development Agency. Uh, of Thailand. So uh, this is just like the platform for sharing the knowledge in flavor, uh, flavor, uh, flavor field. Also, I am a speaker for the National Food Institute uh, that uh, the topic that I have uh, talked 
uh, are food additives and also plant-based meat. And also I am a speaker for uh, some academic institutes that invited me for uh, give some lectures. Uh, for educational backgrounds and also research interests, I uh, got the P uh, bachelor and master in food technology from Chulalongkorn University here, and also my PhD in food science and human nutrition from University of Illinois in the United States. My research interests right now, uh, actually right now I have like so many interest but mainly focus on uh, flavor chemistry and analysis and also flavor interactions and release also um, working with the alternative protein with can be uh, plant protein and also insect protein meat and meat products and also cocoa and coffee right now um, i have right now three phd students and five master students and uh, one of them uh, for master student, one of them is in food science and technology program, which is international program, and he is Indonesian. Also, I have uh, in the past I have nine master student that already graduated. Uh, like eight of them are in Thai program, but uh, one in, is Indonesian, uh, which is uh, she got the degree master degree in food science and technology that the, the story that we are going to uh, give today. Um, my research that is still going on, um, like the first one is aroma component and bioactivity during production of tunau from black soybean, which tunau, uh, like tunau is a like soybean fermented product. So uh, we aim to use this one as a potential use in plant-based food, which is like the one that uh, we can use instead of using shrimp paste. Also, we have uh, some research that related to flavor binding uh, with the uh, plant protein that include pea and also mung bean proteins and using uh, strawberry flavoring as a model. And this is the topic that I am catching on my interest because the industry that uh, we put lots of uh, flavor in it. And also right now in the industry, they're focusing on some uh, health food, healthy food, which contain more and more protein in it. So adding flavoring into the food protein is can cause some interactions and also make the pro profile of the flavor of the food change a lot. And also maybe some uh, reduce the intensity of the flavor that we aim to put in the food. So this research would help like the industry to prove that how many uh, of the flavor compounds that they need to change in their profile. And then like after interaction occur, they uh, the profile of the food will be as we expected. Other research that I'm working in is the optimization of coffee oil extract from defective beans using supercritical carbon dioxide extraction and its effect on extracted oil, uh, coffee oil quality. Other research uh, is uh, on the effect of protein glutamination, which is one type of the enzyme that we modify the protein and study the effect of uh, the protein modification with the flavor binding properties of the protein. We do optimization of flavor extraction and also some bioactive compound extraction from lavender flower uh, and by using the dairy fat uh, and its application in ready to drink milk products. Also, I work on the cricket protein, which is one type of the insect protein. So I, uh, work, I am working with the uh, extraction method that we use the ammonium sulfate uh, to uh, extract the protein to be able to get the protein isolate and also study its functional properties and also volatile flavor uh, components of the protein. And uh, many more, I, I cannot uh, talk about all of my research that is still going on right now. And uh, right now I'm working with like so many uh, company, the project from company. So uh, it's kind of like uh, study the flavor uh, 
flavor of the products and also some uh like solve some problem with the flavor uh flavor uh flavor profile of the products. So mainly focus on today. I am uh going to talk about the collaboration that we have with Indonesia and also Thailand. And the collaboration uh, with Indonesia and Thailand cannot be happen uh, without this lady, Uliu Afida, uh, that uh, at the end of this presentation, I will ask her to talk a little bit about her experiences. Um, Uliu Afida, uh, she start her master degree in food science and technology uh, um, during the January 2021, which is like the during that COVID-19 is spreading all around the world, including in our country, Thailand, and also in Indonesia. At that time, like uh, at the beginning of her study, is not that any problem because at the first, she studying everything online. We offer some courses that we teach online. And at that time, she could not travel to Thailand. So it's fine because like uh, she can stay there and wait until we uh, like allow, we are allowed to, uh, to travel. So and until we are allowed, but uh, the like the period of her studying is limited in two years. So we need to think about like the option of her research. So we are discussing a lot about this problem. And we uh, like, we have the, the, the solution that, okay, one option is to doing research in Indonesia. So at that time, like we are talking about like, so uh, Uliu, she, uh, you need to go to uh, the previous institute that you are, you already graduated from, uh, which is come, uh, from the uh, Faculty of Animal Science, uh, Gajamada University. And uh, at that time, she went back to the animal science and met with the, Dr. Andy, uh, which is uh, he used to teach uh, and to advise uh, Uliu for uh, on her uh, bachelor degree. And at the end of this, uh, presentation, I will ask Dr. Andy to give some um, like feedback from this collaboration later on. Um, also, Dr. Andy have some research partners, and one of them is in Brin, which is Dr. Andy. So we are now like knowing each other, and then after that, we try to work on agreements uh, that we can work with the Faculty of Animal Science, Gajamada University Research Center for Food Technology and Processing in Brin, and also Department of Food Technology, Faculty of Science, Jolalongkorn University. And we are working together on develop the proposal. The proposal of, the, of Uliu that she has to work there in Indonesia is supposed to be that the thing that related to uh, the family product that uh, Indonesian knows. So we are thinking about like the meat product that uh, because she is in animal science. So uh, the product that we, the food product that we are focusing on might supposed to be the thing that she uh, know more than other things. So meat product supposed to be the thing that uh, like the, the 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 way that we are uh, trying to focus on her thesis on on her thesis. So we are talking about the one type of the smoked meat product, which is sesapi. That uh, why we come across with this product to have the proposal name the effect of cinnamon and nutmeg essential oils on sesapi quality. At that time, like uh, because the COVID nineteen pandemic, so uh, Uliu supposed to work hard there in Indonesia. So the research activity mostly done in Indonesia in Brin and also in uh, UGM. So this is the picture of the like research facility that uh, Uliu is working uh, was working on during uh, her research. So thank thankfully, like we have both 
Brin and also UGM to help her uh, like without these two organization Uli will not uh, like wouldn't be successful in uh, now today because she already graduated and uh, the, when the times come she moved to Thailand and she gave the presentation in an international conference which is uh, STT 48 at that time like uh, we also published the publication in the proceeding of the conference which is the effect of essential oils on quality and volatile composition of sterile uh, meat, uh, smoked meat, which is sesapi. And at that time, like uh, Uli was supposed to work closely to my um, my two uh, PhD students, which is Tanakon Rong Basert and also Pakavit Metatiranan, to be able to uh, communicate and write up the manuscript like this. And she is the one of the working hard uh, students at that time. Finally, the main outcome of this collaboration, we have the master degree uh, student that already got the, the, the master degree in food science and technology and also published her uh, work in the proceeding in an international conference that I already mentioned, Uliu Afida. And we also have the good relationship between Brin and also UGM, which is uh, Brin is Dr. Andy and also UGM, which is Dr. Andy. And it's not the end of our uh, collaboration because many more going to come. We are uh, now working on uh, manuscript writing on the um, research that Uliu did in Indonesia. So it's gonna be something that challenged us a lot uh, to be able to publish our work so uh, before we are going to end of this uh, collaboration sharing, so uh, I would like to invite Uliu to talk about uh, the, her thought about like uh, working in like COVID situation with Brin, UGM and also Tulalongkorn University. Uh, Uliu is in, um, uh, are, uh, is Uliu here? Yes, yes, Achan. Okay. I'm here. So could you please sharing about like your thought, like uh, about like this collaboration happen? Yes. Uh, nice to meet you, Achan, Virt virtually. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am Ulil Afida. I remember at the time when I had to finish my lab work in Brin and I had to go to Bangkok as soon as possible. I had to finish my thesis in a very short time but I had no other choice I had to finish because uh, the scholarship uh, only until the end of the 20,000 uh, until the end of the December so I had to uh, then uh, that oh uh, it was a very very tough situation for me because at the same time uh, I had to take care of my doctor as well. Then uh, there was no other choice except bring my family to Bangkok. Uh, I actually didn't like that kind of situation because I had to work. I had to work very hard under high pressure. Uh, but after I passed everything, I was done everything, and I go back to Indonesia, I try to figure out the message in every sense that I have passed during my master degree. Then uh, I thought that I am more than grateful for having that hard situation. And I am. I would like to say thank you to Brin, uh, especially to Dr. Andy, uh, also to Uni uh, Universitas Gajah Mada, Dr. Andy, and also uh, to my advisor, my, my friends in the department, my Thai friends, my Indonesian friends, my friends in lab in Brin, and also all of my support system, uh, because uh, that, tough situation not only transform me 
not only transform my academic skill, but also transform me as an individual. Thank you very much, Achan. Thank you so much, Uliu. This is like uh, only for the sharing uh, from Uliu, which is like the one that uh, like who was very uh, war, uh, very hardworking uh, student that I have. And she showed a lot about her toughness and also her ability to uh, like to hold situation with like by herself. And also I would like to ask uh, Dr. Andy from UGM to share about uh, his thought about this collaboration. Uh, Good morning, everyone. Sabarikab, Dr. Kang. Can you hear my voice? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you very much I, I, for everyone, Excellencies, Dr. Puji, Dr. Uh, Wahono, uh, prior uh, Dr. Kanita, and then, of course, my friend, uh, my colleagues, uh, Dr. Kang. Uh, also, uh, Professor Uponrat, I saw before uh, in, with the same uh, in in the same Zoom. Uh, I, I want to little bit tell story actually, Dr. Kang, if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, Dr. Andy, my friends uh, uh, here also. Um, Pak Sisko also. Yeah. Uh, long time ago, I went to Chulalongkorn University. Uh, it's almost like uh, uh, I, I forgot, but it's almost four years ago, and I uh, met with. Professor Uburrat, I hope she also still remember me. And then it's like a by faith. Uh, I met Dr. Kang. Uh, I, I've been in Thailand two times, meet Dr. Kang there. Uh, because uh, like Dr. Kang said, we have one student, uh, Ulil, uh, Ulil Afida. Uh, so actually, I just want to say I'm very happy today. Uh, what we want, the collaborations, also the in Indonesia we call silaturahmi or collaborations uh, happens uh, here with the Brin. Uh, so thank you to Brin also, which bring this collaboration here in this uh, Zoom uh, seminar or meeting. So um, I just want to say that. Uh, Two things in my mind now. We have a very good hospitality while we are in uh, Thailand. First, uh, not just only hospitality, but we have a good collaborations uh, among three parties, which is UGM, uh, Brin, and also Chulalongkorn University. What I, what I can say is at the time, we have a hard time, of course. We are in pandemic uh, era, but we can pass or we can uh, pass those uh, time with hard time, of course, a little uh, very hard to work with the SAP. So our vision is to uh, bring Indonesian food, uh, which is called SAP. Uh, it's never been... Uh, our focus before, uh, how we develop the self-life and also how we make it more delicate. And by this collaboration, we can prolong, uh, prolong the self-life and also we can uh, make innovations, which is say sapi with the specific aroma with nutmeg and cinnamon. So uh, I would not uh, tell the detail uh, of the research uh, because still it is on writing, of course. And second one, uh, later on, I thought uh, Ulil which uh, have uh, more or specific data can tell about it. But once again, uh, I just want to uh, say that Collaboration always bring us to go far away rather than we go alone. So I hope uh, Brin and see you uh, always uh, collaborate. Uh, we can bring maybe others uh, local food or maybe Thailand food also uh, to be in our research. 
So yeah, one one once again, I feel very happy to meet Dr. Kang here. Uh, I hope uh, from CU can come to Jogja, our city. Uh, uh, in Jogja, we have a yeah good environment for research, of course, and for education. And we owe a very good hospitality there. So I hope Professor Ubonrat, uh, Dr. Kang, of course can come to Jogja and we can collaborate more and talk more about uh, research. I think that is uh, from me, Dr. Kang. Uh, maybe we can uh, continue later. Thank okay. you very much. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Andy. And I am sure that uh, we are going to have more in terms of collaboration. And also I will uh, visit Jogjakarta for sure in some time in the future soon. So um, actually also for uh, Brin, right now, like actually we are talking a lot with Dr. Andy, uh, Dr. Andy uh, who is uh, like planning to work together in terms of like the volatile compounds and also flavor analysis. And also he is willing uh, to learn more about the uh, volatile compound analysis. So we are trying to think about the way to collaborate with this uh, area and then like uh, if we have some uh, like some solutions and 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 then like some uh, some chance like so we can have more collaboration in the future for sure um, and also um, before going to the Q&A session, I would like to thank you everyone to, uh, to be here and uh, thank you everyone to make it happen in terms of like the collaboration between Brin UGM and also uh, from Jula Angkor University. And uh, lastly, I would like to thank COVID-19 because without COVID-19, we don't even have these kinds of collaboration. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you uh, so much for the presentation, Dr. Supa for uh, Satit, and also Dr. Andy, uh, my colleague, uh, who give a short uh, experience and also student regarding the COVID pandemic. Yeah, for me also, I mean, without the COVID pandemic, my API, I don't know what is the webinar or Zoom meeting, something like that. <laughs> Well, okay, uh, we are now in the Q&A session. Uh, maybe because we have uh, two different platform, uh, the first is in the YouTube and the second one is in the Zoom. I will go to the Zoom first, probably there are uh, already uh, two questions. Probably uh, the speaker also could see the some question uh, which already patched on the Q&A box. I would like to uh, read the first question first. Uh, there is a question from Anino, Anino Most, uh, no, no name in the same. So I think this is the question is for the Chulalongkorn University. Uh, might be Professor Siri Patrawan or Dr. Uh, Supa Forasatit. Uh, you could answer uh, this question or uh, yeah. The question is, how is the possibility to have the degree by research program and how, how we can do it? How can uh, we do for it? I mean, is there like the, any uh, funding resources? But I think the student already uh, one of the example that uh, she could do it. Uh, but maybe you have a more detailed uh, explanation regarding the possi possibility to have the degree by research probably. So maybe from whom, I mean, we will uh, uh, give the answer for this question from Dr. Supa Forasatit, probably. Or you, you mean like the first question, right? Yes, the first question regarding uh, for, the for degree the, by regarding research. for the degree by research, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, actually, we have discussed uh, a bit about this uh, this situation. Actually, in our mm -hmm. um, PhD. Uh, program we offer in the um, like a bilingual uh, program so we can use both Thai and also in English and also um, during the um, like do, uh, we have offer two types of the PhD program which can be the one with uh, the coursework 
another one without coursework. So the degree by research can be done here as well and also in Brin together and also uh, but we need to discuss about like the 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 method that we supposed to do in terms of like uh, working only in Brin or just like spend some time in Thailand because uh, we, uh, we we don't uh, like we we don't don't even start or have some this uh, if, uh, kind of uh, some situation like this before so we need to talk about this but I think it's possible to have these kinds of collaboration. Okay, so maybe uh, uh, Dr. Wahono will ask uh, the question regarding the degree by research probably, because, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> because yeah. many times uh, <laughs> he talk about the degree by research. Okay, Dr. Wahono, maybe uh, he will ask uh, about the degree by research to Dr. Supafo Rasate. Okay, Dr. Wahono, the time is yours okay. now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there is an opportunity to conduct it. Then uh, Professor Kang already mentioned it, but it, there is a possibility. I think it's a, a good start for us to try uh, communicate it further. And I will try to contact and communicate it with um, our headquarter uh, office, which related with degree by research and I think the next step about the degree by research uh, there is a discussion in in detail about that and some communication about it and thank you for your um, opportunity opportunity from Chulalongkorn University it's it's uh, ready to uh, conduct degree by research using green facilities I think in Thailand when campus already have a collaboration with Brin for degree by research at Suranare University. So we can copy that and conduct in Chulalongkorn. That's all. Thank you, Dr. Sisko. Yeah, thank you, uh, Dr. Satrio. Uh, might be Professor Siri Patrawan, you have a short talk regarding this topic or, or it's clear? For okay. maybe um, additional answer, probably. For which question? The first or the, the first one, the degree by research. Oh uh, yes. Uh like Dr. Inta would mention, um, we have two kinds. If you want to uh study for coursework, and uh the other one would be uh without coursework. But the requirement are uh, a little bit different. Like for uh, without coursework, the requirement for graduation would have like two international papers or two international publications. And uh, this is the different. Okay. okay uh, sorry, yeah. I forgot to turn on my <laughs> camera. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's clear. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, as uh, Dr. Satrio will talk to the to the the head of the research organization, might be if we make the the collaboration in detail regarding the degree by research with the Chulalongkorn for university, maybe will be clear enough. I mean, because as we have, uh, we already had uh, uh, some funding for 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 degree. I mean, in master or in PhD degree. Well, uh, thank you for the answer, uh, Professor Sri Patrawan. Uh, we are now moving to the next question, still in the Zoom meeting. So I would like to uh, read the question. Hello, my name is uh, Tami from the Boker Regency Food Security Agency as a food security analyst. Uh, I want to ask about the technology that Green or Chulalongkorn University developed in the local food to conduct food security in against stunting. So the topic is against stunting. I mean, how Brin and Chulalongkorn uh, University developed uh, some of technology to tackle this issue. Maybe from Chulalongkorn University first, Professor Siri Patrawan or Dr. Supa Purasati, probably. I mean, what type of uh, technology? Okay. Um, actually, like uh, when we talk about the uh, 
uh, food security and also uh, like something that related to food safety. Mm-hmm. So we, uh, we, we work a lot in terms of like the research that Dr. Ubon Rat uh, explained and talked about like earlier. We have some many um, like processing uh, like that we can offer to the local food. Uh, not only in Indonesia, but in Thailand as well. Uh, for example, like the drying process that we can use not for like the, like, like it's not that expensive technique, but we can use those kinds of like uh, processing technique to be able to uh, kind of like increase the security of the food or increase the safety of the food. And also for the second uh, question that I read in the in in the Q and A session, that uh, we can make some collaboration in terms of like making some education and also uh, using the processing technique that we have like for the local product and also uh, for the like not not for the high end technology. So we can use those one to be able to make the food. Uh, more in terms of like uh, more secure, like that that that's uh my thought right now. And I think okay. we also yeah. have some facility to to share, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you uh, for the answer, Doctor. So maybe uh, Prof. Siri Patrawan, uh, any additional answer probably or? Yes, is uh the the question is quite open. But uh, mm-hmm. if we can specify, we, we can provide a uh, more specific answer. But uh, anyway, we are very happy to cooperate with Brin. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you uh, for the answer, Prof. Siri Patrawan. And, and actually, from... uh, mm-hmm. uh, excuse me, there's mm-hmm. another question that uh, asks about Dr. Shun Jit. She's not here today, but I already sent her the message and I give the uh, the email address of the Tershunji to to the to the person who asked the question. It's about uh Dr. Chunji. Yeah. yeah, because I saw also the, the one of the questions regarding the food microbiology. Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you anyway, Professor Siri Patrava. And from Dr. Wahono, probably. Yeah, regarding the question or okay, <laughs> because Brin mentioned on that question, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, about the technology because it's uh, related with our local food, so maybe we have many kind of technology. You can contact us. Uh, I don't know. Maybe but Mumun is uh, ready to ready to answer any question or any request about uh, how to how to educate how to train how to uh, diverse the product uh, based on local food uh, you can you can uh, ask to print and then print will deliver deliver the question or request to the um, appropriate research center um, maybe some some will, will will come to us and how to uh, what is it educate right uh, to make collaboration to educate the technology I think Brin has a program about MBBM masyarakat bertanya Brin menjawab uh, uh, community has a question Brin has answer yeah, so you can use that program and ask to print and print will will give you some education about how to tackle the stunting but one thing that uh, about this technology or the uh, food product of stunting now already um, change into the simple food technology so it's it's not about the important mineral again but it's about how uh, how the people can um, consume rich protein food. So if you you ask about uh, not high end or uh, low low cost food, 
uh, you can use uh, maybe catfish egg or something uh, some uh, food resource uh, protein resource in uh, community that's already used but consume in um, consume more than the than you consume every day just just like that not not uh complicated like the previous one i think uh, government already reduced the the standard of uh, stunting uh, food diversification only you must consume rich protein food just like that thank you dr Cisco. okay uh, thank you so much for the answer uh, dr wahana yes i mean uh, if we are talking about the stunting it's complex because the problem from the farm to the table because very complex. I mean, for example, like uh, when we are talking about the milk, I mean the raw milks, whether the nutrition are uh, meet uh, meet uh, the demand or not. Because uh, when uh, we have the, I mean, like the stunting also animal. So I mean, it will also produce the low protein. And after that, also we should do the processing also for uh, make it more nutritious. But uh, anyhow, yes, again, if we are talking about the stunting, it's complex. So that's the reason why I mean we need the processing stuff to make it more nutritious, something like that. Well, uh, I think I would like to check first in the YouTube. Is there any question or not? Uh, I don't think so. If there is question on the YouTube, uh, because uh, our time also is limited. Now it's only eleven nineteen. We have a time until eleven twenty for the discussion part. So then I will go back again to the Zoom uh, chat. Oh, there is uh, another question again. Okay, uh, this is a uh, question is from uh, uh, no no name also. It's for Doctor Intabut Supafarosatit. From your presentation, there are many activities that will be carried out by the Chulalongkorn University, and there are many opportunities for the collaboration that we might be able to work on the between the brain and the Chulalongkorn. So is there any opportunity for conducting a research exchange and how? I mean, probably it's regarding the staff exchange, not the student probably. Okay, um, that's a uh, question that I think like is important for everyone as a researcher. So actually, uh, as we started uh, to, to have some agreement for the student exchange or student research in, in both Brin and also Chulalongkorn University. So I think right now it's not that uh, very hard to be able to uh, conduct the research together or have some uh, exchange program like this, because as I mentioned that I talked with uh, Dr. Andy about this one as well, that there, there might be some uh, opportunity for him to be able to train uh, as an exchange research, like uh, like in uh, in Chulalongkorn University in terms of like flavor analysis and also something like that uh, in a certain period of time. So it's just like uh, if you are interested in uh, some specific topics, just like uh, email to uh, directly to to professor that you would like to work with or maybe just like uh like email me and i will suggest some uh colleagues that uh, are willing to have some collaboration like this and then like we just like working on some documents and just like do some exchange that that's not uh and 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 tough uh situation right now because we know each other already yeah well, yeah, I think so. It's uh, I think it's uh, about uh, the matter of the funding. I mean, as long as we have the funding, that we could go. I mean, Thailand, Bangkok to Yogyakarta. <laughs> well, uh, I think I will go to the last question for the Q and A session. Uh, this the last question is: What kind of the food? What kind of the food research or the biotechnology that attract the Chulalongkorn University attention for the research collaboration with Indonesia? I mean, in terms of the the biotechnology stuff. I mean, do you have like any idea what I mean regarding the stuff in Indonesia? Mm, what kind of food research or biotechnology? Probably in the microbiome stuff or uh, what? Or <laughs> mm, actually, right now there are a lots of 
uh, food research and also biotechnology that is still going on and catch our interest, like not only in Thailand, but also around the world. Like one of them is uh, kind of like to have some, um, maybe the probiotics and also prebiotics that uh, could help uh, like people in terms of their health, something like that. And also some other research that uh, related to the functional properties and also some uh, bioactivities of the products that come from fermentation or something like that. That, that would be an area that uh, many researchers in Thailand are uh, working on and also some techniques that uh, regarding to uh, prolong shelf life of the products. As uh, Dr. Ubonrat uh, is working on the packaging materials or something like that, that would be uh, an interest topic that we would uh, like to work or have some collaboration with. Uh, thank you for the question uh, because the question uh, the question is coming on and on now, <laughs> but it's only short question. I mean, uh, if uh, there are some students, I mean, how could they get the internship? I mean, is there any possibility possibility to do the internship in the Chulalongkorn University as yes. an internship student, probably? Uh, sure, we we and also the fellowship. Sorry, uh, and also the postdoctoral fellowship. The post. You mean like the postdoctoral? Yes, and also the internship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for the internship and also postdoctoral internship uh, or, or postdoctoral uh, program, actually, like as like everyone knows that like if there is some funding that we can have like uh, to to support mm -hmm. uh, student or also the postdoctoral internship, so we can have. Uh, the collaboration like this for sure uh, in terms of like, the, the the funding uh, either like come from Indonesia or Thailand like mm -hmm. if we have uh, I, I, we, we can share some uh, some project that uh, if Indonesia can provide some uh, travel uh, like cost or something like that and also some living expenses so for sure like they can come and also in Thailand, we can provide some uh, research facility that we can work on. Uh, some professor have some funding as well. So just like talk uh, to professor and just discuss about this is, is uh, can be happen for sure. I mean. Okay, uh, thank you for the answer, uh, professor. I, I think in the, the other side also, Brin also has a uh, internship program and the postdoctoral program that might be uh, Dr. Wahono will uh, answer also the question. I mean, if might be some question regarding the postdoctoral in print or internship, something like that. Okay, Dr. Wahono, probably uh, now time is yours now. Yeah. Okay, I think it's um, not related with the question, I think, but I will explain about the uh, uh, there is a postdoctoral fellowship program and internship program in print. Uh, everyone can see in the Brain website, uh, especially in management talent. I think uh, you can see the requirement. You can see the um, uh, what you can get from that program and where you can conduct uh, your postdoctoral or internship in that website. Uh, I think it's not related with the question. The question it's. Uh, for Chulalongkorn University. I think everyone in Indonesia want to go to Thailand now <laughs> because <laughs> Professor Khan already uh, opened the opportunity. But for read program only for uh, for a while for uh, for print facilities, not for others. Especially for this 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 part, postdoctoral and um internship but for degree by research we open to collaborate with uh, abroad university well yeah yes thank you dr wahana for uh the, the the answer i mean might be if there is uh, some uh student from tulalongkorn university join probably i do not know i haven't said it yet uh, okay uh maybe the last one is uh from uh 
Dr. Erliana Ginting from Brim. Uh, the question is for the Chulalongkorn University. The question is, is there any international conference regularly conducted by Department of the Food, Sci Food Technology Chulalongkorn University? So do you have any like uh, in international conference regularly, annual uh, meeting? Actually, uh, uh, in Thailand, we have the mm -hmm. uh, international conference uh, that uh, like going to be held annually uh, we call food innovation asia conference that uh, normally we have it in june every year so in this year um, uh, basically it's not that host by our department but uh, host by the association of food science and technology of thailand so it's kind of like the the like the the conference that will be held by like a uh, collaboration with many universities together and we work closely but this year is coming uh, in coming june uh Chulalongkorn university and mefaluong university will be co-host for this okay. event in this uh, june so right now we are open for the uh, abstract uh, to be able to uh, submit but uh, if you cannot make it this year Next year in June as well, we're gonna have another meeting. Uh, like I said, that like annually, so you can uh, just like plan ahead and uh, go to the meeting, and we can meet each other there as well. But uh, not only for the uh, food science and technology field, there are some uh, like conferences that uh, will be held in Thailand as well as an international international conference. Uh, as I mentioned for Uliu's conference that he uh, made it last year, uh, we have the STT uh, conference, which is science and technology field, but uh, including the food uh, science and technology in that uh, conference as well. So you can uh, just like search the, the uh, like detail about the conference by using the keyword STT49. Uh, this year going to be held in this maybe November or December uh, this year in uh, Song, uh, Song Khan, Nakhrin, uh, Prince Song Khan Nakhrin University uh, in the south of Thailand. So some of you might uh, know about this university. So just like go for it and uh, we can see each other there because I am a committee as well. <laughs> okay, that's great then. Okay, thank you for the information. I, I think if Dr. Ginting are interested, you could uh, submit uh, the abstract as soon as possible to join the conference in the November. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, but uh, I would like to give the, the opportunity to uh, Brin and also to Lalangon University. Probably uh, Dr. Satrio would have a question to, to Chulalongkorn University or Dr. Supafora Santit and also Professor Siri Patrawan have question also to Brin probably. Uh, I would like to give the first uh, chance to uh, Dr. Rohano. Dr. Rohano, you have any question? Oh. I think everything is clear. Everything is clear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we will waiting for the next discussion, maybe about okay. degree by research. And okay. I will try to contact the headquarter office to uh, to arrange that meeting. Okay. Yeah. And might be in uh, Chulalongkorn side. Uh, do you have any question to print probably that <laughs> regarding the research and etc. Or already clear enough? Or <laughs> from uh, from Dr. Ubonrat? From Prof. Ubonrat, you have oh already clear enough or yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, me, okay then. As we discuss a lot with uh, <laughs> Dr. Andy, and uh, we discussed earlier with Dr. Satrio, so I think like uh, this time I have a clear like vision about the brain more. I mean, like in terms of like so more information. So okay. I think uh, we can work on some collaborations later, uh, especially the uh, the degree art on research. So. Uh, so we can we can discuss later on. So, okay then. Okay then. Uh, thank you for the presentation and also the explanation from the all speaker. And finally, I'm going to the the conclusion uh, from the take home message that uh, because it's a matter of the the research and also the collaboration 
this is the take home message that uh, I got uh, from the our discussion that the, sup the support supported funding resources. So from those things, so we need collaboration between Indonesia and also Thailand because we have some similar issue uh, in the food security and uh, food processing and to tackle this, uh, those issue in the ASEAN region. I think that's the things that I would like to conclude for this presentation. Again, uh, giving applause to the all speaker, uh, Dr. Satria, uh, Dr. Inda Wood, and also Professor Upanrat. Again, thank you so much for the nice, nice presentation. I would like to give it back to the MC, uh, Ms. Moon. And thank you again, and have a nice day. Bye. Thank you so much, Pak Siska Aditya as the moderator of our session and to our wonderful speakers. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, we come to the end of the webinar. We would like to award certificate of appreciation to the speakers and please the host to display the certificate. Okay. Uh, for the first, this is Certificate of Appreciation to Ibu Kanita Tananuwong PhD. Thank you so much for valuable uh, presentation and contribution today. Next. This is Certificate of Appreciation to uh, Bapak Profesor, eh, sorry, uh, Ibu Profesor Ubon Ratsiri Patrawan PhD for the worthy presentation on topic research activity in Department of Food Technology, Chulalongkorn University. Next. And this is Certificate of Appreciation to Bapak Intawut Supa Forasatit PhD for the worthy presentation on topic Indonesia-Thailand bridging research on education in food science and technology. And next, Certificate of Appreciation to Pak Satrio Kridawahono, PhD. Thank you so much uh, for your worthy presentation on research program and facility in the food technology and processing today. Thank you so much. Thank you for our valuable contribution today and please give virtual applause uh, for them. We will send to your email soon. And ladies and gentlemen, we will have the documentation session for all participants. So please the host can promote all of us. And please open your video. Okay. Okay. Please wait a minute.
please open your video. Okay. Okay. Please, the host can help to take the picture. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Be ready on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, once again, on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, we we'll, would like to thank you for spending your time with us today and all the active participants. Thank you for the speakers, moderators, the committee, and the last but not least to the participants. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, we would like to apologize for the con inconvenient matters during the webinar. Thank you and see you when I see you. Goodbye. Bye, thank you so much again. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Kang, Professor Ubonrat. Nice to see you and see you again. Okay, Maybe in Jogja or in Thailand. <laughs> it's an honor to attend the meeting. Thank you very much. Wadika.